Hey guys, what's up? Today we're going to install a terminal that we can access from our web browser that will allow us to do terminal things on our server. We're going to do that with this app called Web SSH2. And in order to get this application up and running, we are going to need Node.js and NPM. Uh, I actually ran this before I started the video, so this is already on here, but I'll show you guys the command. It is apt install node.js space npm. That'll install both packages. And don't forget sudo if you're not logged in as root. And these are uh, pretty good, pretty big packages, so give it a minute, take a break, and let that install. But like I said, already installed on this one, so we're gonna keep going. Uh, I want to install web SSH2 in my opt directory. So I'm going to do cd slash opt. You can put it wherever you want. I like to put it here. So we will do git clone. And I'm going to paste in the GitHub link. Should only take a second. And there it is. That's done. So we're going down to the install instructions. Uh, looking at the directory here, it created a web SSH2 directory, but we want to make sure we CD also into the subdirectory of app. And this is where our package.json file is. We can see that right here. And where we want to enter the command npm install double dash production. This doesn't take too terribly long, It'll take a couple minutes or seconds, not minutes. In fact, before I can even try to correct what I'm saying, it's done. So that's that. Uh, we could edit the config.json to you know plug in some custom options if we want, but in this case, let's just hit npm start, see what happens. The web service is listening on port 222, and this is the link that we need to use. Of course, we gotta change the local host to our IP address. So we'll copy, bring this over here to this tab, punch in 10.0.0.35 for hours. Go ahead and put in whatever IP address you've got, or if you're running on localhost, that works too. Um, okay, so spoiler alert, I actually already started a video on this, and that's why it automatically logged me in. That's what not... Uh, usually happens. So let's go ahead and actually, uh, I wanna log out. I guess we'll switch user. What usually happens is this right here. You get a basic authentication dialog. And in this dialog, you would put in whatever your Linux username is and password. So my Linux username and my super secure password. And there we go. We've got ourselves a shell. Um, don't want to close out of this terminal yet because obviously you can see we're running this service right now in this shell. So if I close it, it's going to stop my service here. But I'm going to go ahead and minimize that for now just so we don't have to look at it. And let's play around in this. Uh, probably the first thing we're going to want to do is actually create a service for this so that it will run on system startup and we'll have control over it using the system control, the system D. Uh, services and one of my favorite documentation sites for things like that and in fact this particular page has exactly what I want as far as creating a Linux service with system D he's got a little PHP program he wrote and goes into how he runs it and how he uses it and then right here is what we care about which is how to turn it into a service so let's go ahead and do that nano slash etc slash system d slash system oh, what am i doing wrong here system slash we're going to call this we'll just call it web ssh dot service i'm going to go ahead and paste this in Paste. Oh, cool. Uh, restart always. Restart one second. User is going to be root. So that way we have access to 
everything we want. And we are going to need uh, an additional item here, and that'll be working directory equals slash opt slash web ssh2 slash, uh, what was that, app, yes. And then should be able to do, we're going to have to actually look this up, but I'm going to put this in here, save it for now, and then we'll come back because we've got to look up where that NPM is. And I'll show you guys how to do that. So control X, yes, enter. And we're going to do which NPM to find out where that is. And it is user bin slash NPM. We're going to copy that. Oops, my bad. Control C does not work when you're in a terminal for copying and pasting. Okay, copied, nanoing back in, exec start. Oh, I hit, I hit control V again. Keep messing this up, okay. Equals, right click paste. All right, there we go. NPM start, okay. I'm gonna exit, hit yes. And we will bring back up our terminal here. We're gonna control C the service. Control C for quit. All right, and let's try this out. System control enable web SSH. Created symlink. All right, system control start web SSH. Let's check the status. And it looks like it's running. Let's hit refresh and make sure we still got it. Yes, we do. We are up and running. We have now created the service. This shell will run uh, anytime we start our web server and it should just be running in the background all the time for us to use. Uh, the next thing I wanna go ahead and do is create, I think I'm going to do that in the next video. Catch me in the next video where we create a reverse proxy using Nginx to access this uh, through Nginx. All right. See you guys there.